Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on Random Mania 2. I'm August 40th here with Jiggly Saint. Hello, everybody. Doing, so, uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, this is the third uh, match between uh, Dig Shake <laughs> and Dig Shake and Fred Coughlin. Um, yes, sir. Being, sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say this being the uh, Elite Eight uh, flags. Do you uh, notice anything there on the oh, title screen? No, 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 no. Yep, All right, well, uh, it's not quite one hit KO, but it's <laughs> almost. Yeah. So At least for go. the first few minutes. Oh, no, we're dealing with Reverse Overworld. But we're starting here up in Death Mountain, so that's not too bad. Death Mountain is not the ideal place. Not a whole lot of open caves. Um, we got a couple Armos checks right off the bat here. It looks and like we found that, some yep. item. Yep, the Armos item is the uh, is a heart. Okay, um, well, that's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> yep, and uh, this is the uh, final matchup uh, between these two racers. The creator of the Zelda 1 randomizer versus Dig Shake, the creator of the uh, Zelda 2 randomizer. Um, and it's been quite a matchup already. You know, funny enough, I downloaded the Zelda 1 randomizer first, but I didn't actually know about the randomizer community until I actually started playing the Zelda 2 randomizer. And I didn't know about that until I think a uh, famous YouTuber was uh, you know, showcasing it. And then I just kind of went down the rabbit hole from there. So I kind of owe Dig Shake to, uh, you know, me being here right now. This is a sure a showcase of Zelda 1 here. Um, as you saw, they started out with just one heart. Uh, in yep. these uh, final stages of the tournament, we're showcasing some of the crazier um, possibilities here of the Zelda 1 randomizer. We got the Mirrored Overworld, just one heart. Uh, we're shuffling in uh, dungeon hearts to levels. Look at that. Fred finds a cheap candle here with no level 1. 46 rupees. Cheap meat as well. 42. And a key. Uh, here, uh, just north, north, yep. uh, east now. And besides that mirrored overworld, there's just a few more things too that have been added to the Elite Eight flags. Um, the biggest one will be, uh, well, if you see by there, you notice that those... Um, you know, those hint values are, you know, what, you know, vanilla. They're the uh, same uh, same value as it would be in uh, the original Legend of Zelda. Whoa, 121 for a large secret. Ooh, anyway, very... uh, anyway, the point is, is that community hints are turned on, so there will be zero hints provided in this seed. Ooh, and Fred, sorry to cut you off there, but uh, Fred finds the blue candle here just north of vanilla of uh, the start. And Dig Shake purchasing here is blue candle. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Does so we got have... ourselves a level, and this is level... I don't know what this is, because level numbers have been hidden. On top of that, this could be first quest, this could be second quest, or this could be shapes. Given the starting dungeon... Or the starting um, entrance to that dungeon... I'm not too sure. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of the grid there. Yeah. Very possible be... we're dealing with some shapes as uh, Dig Shake finds some take any roads. Is he taking them? Now, now that does bring up an interesting thing. The, uh, the book, which previously served as a translator in the bracket flags, will act as an atlas. And in this case, you know, having an atlas... You know, ooh, 24 for bombs. That's uh, not the greatest. Do you have that large uh, 120 secret? Yeah, it's so. true, but, you know, even with the uh, large, we don't know if that's going to be one large or if it's going to be three, because that's the other thing that has been randomized, too, is the overworlds. We could have first quest, we could have second quest, we could have mixed, or... Well, I guess that's our only three options. Yeah, and speaking of mixed up, uh, look at the the map there that Fred Ooh, found. 
that is uh, confirmation. Yep, and given that level size, I'm guessing that is a level one through six. So, so we're gonna every... be doing up to six shaped levels. So everybody, name that ink block. And Fred Coughlin uh, that's is an interesting one. Found the Triforce. Kind of looks like a submarine almost. I was gonna say a Sphinx. That's level two. And Tread grabbing that Triforce. Uh, are we gonna get uh, to see that? And it looks like a uh, Quest One second slot. And I and I'm pretty sure with shapes. Uh, yeah, with shapes. Um, that must be uh, dungeon number two. Yep, shapes follow the uh, first Ooh. quest convention. So that means that there's going to be uh, there's going to be an item drop on the floor as well as the uh, heart shuffle is on. So that means that the heart container item could be another item. Yep, and uh, Fred finding that large secret at the same time that Dig Shake finds this blue level here. You see where that rupee was? Yes, sir. Um, actually, no, I think, uh... Yeah, Ooh, I, Hello, I... Patra. And looking Patra. at that sub-map, that looks like a Spiral of Doom. That looks like a second quest dungeon to me. That's a spiral of doom, then that means that uh, room could definitely be holding something. A staircase or an item. Yes, sir. So it looks like we're dealing with first quest, uh, one through six uh, shapes, and um, second quest, uh, seven through nine. As Fred takes our first death here, just a few minutes. Well, at least the uh, shapes haven't been shuffled into the latter half of the level, so that's at least a little, you know, a little bit. Uh, actually, no, you know, that's actually not very good because level eight is on the second Ooh. quest. It's definitely one of those levels. Dig Shake finding banana yellow here and a bunch of keys. He can burn these down with his candle. His, uh, Fred is up here on Death Mountain, did a save and retry. I saw. Uh, gonna make good use of these bombs. Gonna clear out Death Mountain early. See if it pays off for him. Yep, yeah, finds the second hint shop. Yeah. And more keys in this uh, banana yellow for Dig Shake. There's level 9. And that, that confirms that we are on second quest 7 through 9. So this is uh, level two that uh, Dig Shake is in as Fred is clearing up Death Mountain. Let's see if Dig Shake can't uh, find the, the, the floor drop items out of here. Got some red dark nuts that do not go down in a bomb. That's a bummer. Oh, you know what else is a bummer? Blue Land Molas. Danger Noodles? Yuck. Yeah, I was gonna say, if your noodles are turning blue, then they're a little bit uh, past their expiry date, and you need to throw them out. <laughs> now, okay, that's interesting. Um, another, in another uh, mechanic is that the bubbles, you know has been randomized between three uh, potential curses. One of them being uh, reverse controls, and the other one being swordless, which is kind of a free pass in the swordless tournament. And the other one, which is the most insidious of all, is the slow speed. So I didn't see slow speed, so that probably means we either got inverted or swordless. Yep, swordless not too bad. Uh, kind of a free pass. But that slow down and inverted, not very fun. I guess unless the start screen is right near a fairy fountain. Okay, chat confirming it's inverted controls. Okay, so it's just like in the bracket stages. Want to avoid those bubbles at all costs. Now Fred here finding the uh, take any roads. One plops out on this side of uh, the dead 
woods, which is not the greatest. So yeah, this room that Fred's in, that does have a potential of being a push block. So now that we know that second quest, uh, dun you know, dungeon rooms have been shuffled into the mix. Not really anything you can do in that particular level at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we're completely blocked out of that spiral. Well, you might there might be a staircase under those dark nets, but the problem is, is there's those dark nets are not something you really want to be touching. Oh, okay, interesting. Yep, okay, I so go ahead. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> two two of the take any roads is like right next to each other. Yep, they are not very, uh, very useful to see, I don't think. I don't think we'll be seeing them. Other than you taking up that power bracelet spot, um, I don't think... Well, we got... Well, we I guess it is right robes. under the fairy fountain. Wiz robes in this level here. Are they squishy? Don't want to even find out. Hey, look, there's our bomb upgrade. Ooh, that could be useful. It could, if Take Shake could afford it, but you can bomb right here and- Oh look, there's a rupee room. And a key. It doesn't look like Take Shake is gonna opt to farm that room. As we saw in uh, previous matches. Alright, this, this level having all of the keys. Now, I don't know if there can be a push block under that uh, dig dogger. That key was out in the open, but on the other hand... Oh, that's a bad room to get locked into. Yep, I am pretty sure because of that floor drop, uh, that cannot be a, a push block. Yeah, not, not with that room combination. 39 for a medium, so that's looking up to be a pretty big money seed. Uh, provided, of course, that we have... You know, uh, first quest uh, overworld on. Absolutely, Next. laws approved. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Those souls go down in one uh, blue candle shot. Yep. We are getting all the levels here. It's not bad. Oh, but it doesn't push. Over here. Oh, that's a free Triforce. Very nice. And if we are lucky, Fred will treat us to the subscreen where we will find out which Triforce that is. That's number four. Two, four, six, eight, maybe? Fred gonna go even numbered? Certainly going to jump back in here looking for the... Oh, uh, that is right. That's another one of those flags that have also been implemented too, is that you'll notice you won't be seeing a lot of staircases out in the open. Um, for a, in, in a lot of the cases, they're going to have to work hard to find those staircases because they're going to be under push blocks most of the time. There's a few exceptions, but other than that... Yep, push blocks in dungeons as well on the overworld. They could have blocked something like that blue candle, uh, i.e. The, the wood sword cave. You gotta, in these uh, later brackets of the tournament, uh, later stages of this, uh, these runners are going to have to work for that, that championship. Okay, that that's interesting. So that room there... The Teemo room usually has an item drop. Probably have to defeat all those Vyres. There's the map. Let's see what this level looked like. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, name that inkblot, everybody. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, is Atari E.T. Yep, I can't top that one. 
Well, let's hope this seed isn't going to be Atari E.T., if you know what I mean. No, those, those were all buried in the landfill, I thought. Well, let's hope this seed's not going to be buried in the landfill. No, I'm pretty confident. Look that uh, we got one, two, three, four dungeons, maybe. Yep. Now here we Seems go. Fred so far, using... pretty nice, I think. Fred using the bait for intended strats, luring the uh, moblins over. I'm going to take him out with the bomb. Where is he? He's going to wait until all three of them show up. Yep, he wants to do maximum damage. And they are in the bomb dropping category, so possible he's, uh, he knows they're all bunched he's together. On seven. Oh. Very skillful use of his shield. Shucks, though. Up until that point, um, he's, he's doing very well. As he finds Ganon's room, more of these, uh, green moblins. Yep, the forest co colored moblins. The uh, blue moblins will always inherit the palette of the dungeons that they're in. So yeah, this this looks like it's starting to be sort of a little bit heavier on the combat. Well, manages to take out a bunch of them, manages to take out the second part. Meanwhile, it looks like Big Shake is working on this reverse C room. Now, one good thing about this is that uh, with those bubbles being in the room, you'd be able to uh, defeat some enemies and leave. And you come back and the room is saved. So if he does take a death, you know, you know the enemies won't be returning. But with one bomb, he's got to make sure that he gets both of these at the same time. Can he do it? No, it's not two max HP, it's one max HP. Or they started with one HP. Almost. I don't know if Dig Shake tried to take out that uh, Lionel with the candle shot yet. Oh, almost had it. Oh, only manages to touch the Dark Nut, or the uh, Wiz Rope. Looks like we got ourselves a Dodongo room here on Fred's side. The problem with the Dongos and Swordless is that you can't use the uh, strats to stun one and uh, defeat it using the sword because there is no sword. Yep, no free bombs, uh, but Dig Shake finding a free heart container. Well, all the way up to four hearts. Yep, ever so slowly. Two more hearts and Dig Shake is eligible to get the White Sword item. Or at least have a guaranteed shot at the White Sword item. Um, at this point in time, he's got a, a low chance of picking it up. If he were to find it. Yeah, so okay. far... So far this seed has not been too terribly kind in the... Uh, in the combat department. Not the worst yet, but... Yeah, the, the whole item department. We're 18 minutes in and we've yet to find anything other than our blue candle and some bombs. A couple of hearts. Um, and for anyone who maybe joined us late, we started with one heart. 
but we have found a whole bunch of levels. Unfortunately, they have not grabbed any items out of there. Maybe possible that they found the white sword, but uh, these flags, the white sword is just a four pack of bombs, so kind of difficult to determine. Unless you find uh, a pack of bombs in a staircase or uh, in, some, in the vanilla white sword cave or maybe on the coast. You really don't know uh, running through these levels if maybe you picked up the, the white sword in there. Ooh, Fred getting sniped by a boomerang. Shucks. Has he... Does he burn boomerangs? Or does he uh, pick them up? I'm pretty sure Fred's on the uh, pick the boomerang up side. But you never know. I mean, at this point in time in this game, if they re if they, if either of them find either boomerang, I guarantee you they're going to pick it up because uh, boomerangs and swordless is almost an invaluable, uh, invaluable resource. Because you'll be able to group those enemies together and stun them, and then you can take them out with a bomb or wand or whatever you have. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like a whole lot of enemies, uh, especially in our bomb dropping groups, are have rolled low. Um, I don't think I've seen, other than those red moblins there, speak of the devil. Uh, I guess that's commentator's curse uh, for the better. Oh, look at that. Dick Shea clears this room and receives the recorder. Interesting. So maybe we can uh, start confirming whether we are in first or second quest overworld. Yeah, unfortunately, us here in the commentary booth won't be able to play Name That Tune, but you and Chad are more than welcome to. Not unless we want to endure the uh, torture of uh, Twitch delay and echo. Yeah, I can't stand the Twitch delay. Well, there's nothing under that uh, spot. Yeah, all right. What, a uh, total of 14 recorder spots? Something I, like that. I think 10? Let me just double check here. Um, let's see, so we've got... 1, 2, 5, 7... Yeah, I think about 10. That's be that's between the two quests. All right. Well, let's see. Nope. That is most likely our magic sword. Yeah. I mean, there's just a 33% chance with four hearts. Um, so we will. Interesting. If uh, Dig Shake comes back, well, possible that Fred. Uh, It'll be very interesting if Dig Shake heads back right after grabbing that fifth heart, but nope. Um, so, I don't think Dig Shake will be headed back there even after six. Now that's a really nice thing to see. Those uh, those red gorillas go down in only one candle shot, so... And yep, since they're think, in the bomb dropping group... Yeah, that's the saving grace of the, of the seed, I think. In terms of our bomb dropping enemies, those Ooh, red gorillas on the another... overworld. Another saving grace, though, is that we also have our overworld, uh, you know, being home to the bunnies. And, of course, the bunnies being uh, one of those rare creatures that only have two weaknesses, aside from the sword, which we don't have. They can only be taken down by the uh, tip of the wand or the bow. Which, you know, proves, which, which can prove to be a difficult uh, block in some cases. Enough. Uh, Fred there finding the second uh, large secret over um, now west of the forgotten spot uh, nope. maxed out on his wallet. So now here's a question. Do you uh, save up and get the blue ring? Um, this... Well, he just found a door repair and that's a fairly hefty door repair. Uh, 55 minus 13 is uh, 42. So that's a forty-two no, I, 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 door repair. Tonight. I don't think it was fifty-five. Oh, was he? Was he? Did he, he get was, two doors? He was maxed out on his wallet, so he's down to two thirteen. That that was a hefty door repair. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> two door repairs. Fred going for that white sword at two hearts, unless he knows something I don't. 
Oh, I don't think he was eligible to pick that up. I wonder if he'll go back for three. Let's dig shake someone across this lime green dungeon. Trying to, uh, there we go, clips oh. through. Chat helping me out. Uh, Fred managed to find two door repairs in a row. Um, the door repair just 21. Yeah, the door repair can't be anything more than, I believe, 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you could have evil door repairs that, like, take 255 rupees away from you. I mean, in my opinion, 50 is probably on the upper echelon of what I deem acceptable. You know, that's that's an interesting idea. What if uh, door repair and all <laughs> secrets were 255? Oh, there you go. A, a quote-unquote plentiful seed. It could be an interesting variation. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's a term from uh, Ocarina of Time randos. There's extra items. Right here, Fred, uh, with a one Triforce lead, still um, no items other than that recorder. If Fred can manage to get through this room, though, he will be recorded with his uh, shiny Tootie Flute. But that Tootie Flute hasn't garnished anything, I don't think, right? We um, haven't seen any recorder spots. Oh, you yielding, know what? But... If we haven't seen any recorder spots, um, if that's the case, then Dig Shake probably would be uh, a wise idea to book it all the way to uh, the first quest level 7 pond. If that opens up and no other recorder spots open up, then we have a confirmed first quest. Now, I don't think that's possible because we did try what we did try the first quest burn bush that usually has that has a, uh, a take any heart container. And it didn't open up, so it's probably likely to be... Yeah, it's probably likely to be mixed quest. Yeah, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if there's two large secrets, we know it's not second quest overall. Yeah, you're you. right. We've confirmed that it's not second quest. But mixed quest overworld is fun. That's one of my preferred uh, overworld settings. So today's curse is uh, inverted controls. Yep. Lesser of the two trolley ones. Yeah. It's not the, it's not what you want to see, but it's better than slow. Because believe me, if you've never seen slow walk before, mm -hmm. oh my so goodness. You gotta be careful, he's down to half a heart. Uh, that's alright, these bubbles won't take any hearts away. Oh. They'll just... Seem to be a little bit behind, unfortunately. Uh... He was fighting a, a red, uh, uh, red, what do you call it? Lionel, there we go, sorry. Red's just like you, uh, take the inverted controls, don't get hit by the keys. Okay, good, there we go. Flute. Safe. Ooh. Dig Shake at the same time, um, killed a couple heads of the Dig Dogger. I was gonna go back in, but got locked in with these red moblins. Luckily, they've rolled low, but he's unfortunately going to spend some bombs to kill him. Ooh, does find a way up, and we got fires. Twelve. We've got vanilla bomb uh, capacity increase. Nice. A little, a little extra, but in a swordless quest, I think they're willing to spend a little extra to get some extra bombs. Yeah, no, not right. the worst. Especially right next to that rupee boss. It's kind of like a, you know, 10 rupee discount. Well, that could be even more of a discount if you, uh, if you up an A in a uh, room without leaving the rupee room, then they'll actually respawn. Yep, yep, I mentioned, uh, you can farm those rupee bosses. This dig shake is uh, picking up this Triforce, I believe, in level 4. Tying it up. Fred dropping the meat for the dig dogger. Don't know if that's a valid strategy or not. 
Um, to answer a question in chat, uh, we can confirm the uh, Triforces here. Uh, uh, at least on Fred's side, we've seen these two Triforces um, based on the uh, the layout. It's, uh, and knowing that we are in first quest layout uh, Triforce patterns, we are indeed uh, dealing with those uh, levels 2 and 4. Yeah, yeah. Shapes is always going to follow the first quest logic. For any of those who uh, who don't actually know, in the second quest, um, the Triforce layout appears to be different. So, like, you beat level two, and all of a sudden you have level three's Triforce. The the uh, truth behind that is that level two in the second quest is actually level three in the code. Um, they just basically it's just a name swap. So, you know, levels 2 and 3 have been swapped, levels 4 and 5 have been swapped, and levels 7 and 8 have been swapped. Yep. So I'm not 100% sure about that level 7. Um, I'm not 100% on my uh, dungeons, uh, first or second quest. Uh, more so second quest. Um, so that might be 8. Um, but I'm, I'm confident in our trackers uh, that we got going on behind the scene, Elendar. Here's a here's a room that could have something. This level four here on Dig Shake's side is going to have one staircase that'll lead to an item. Ooh, not quite. Here we go. Does it open? Does not open. Yep, Dig Shake has been in this dungeon for a while. A pretty bold move to, uh, you know, try and, uh, try and dig this level. Don't know it, where anything is. Well, you just, uh, said it right there. He's digging this level, and what's no, he's who's this runner? Dig Shake? I think he's living uh, up to his name. Dig Shake sticking the level, digging the level with the Dig Dogger. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, it makes sense to me. It's uh, level 4. It's one of our smaller dungeons. Uh, found that level 7 and did not stick around, especially after that ladder block. Fred also in this dungeon. Uh, that sub-map kind of looks like the start of a rude gesture. <laughs> yeah, it very, very well he can, be. Uh, he's uh, using pause strats right there. <laughs> we go. Is there anything here? There is indeed something under that dig dogger. What is it? It's a staircase. Bum, bum, bum. That's not entirely a bad thing. There is a, uh, a rare, um, rare staircase, uh, diamond staircase in these flags. Does lead Fred to the compass. Last one, can you do it? This is where a boomerang would be so helpful right now. It's oh, split off into three, it. right? No, I think that Ding Dogger only split off into one. Ah, oh, shucks. Sadly, uh, Dig Shake missing the bomb blast. We'll have to try and redo that room with some more bombs. And Fred with his bait strats at the same time. I wonder if Dig Dogger is susceptible to the bait. I don't believe so. Here's a map. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Name that ink blot. Yeah, it, you know what? If it looks like level 6, I'm going to say it's level 5. Did we see that was there on the coast? Okay, the wand was on the coast. Ooh, the wand is on the coast. Ladder block, so ladder hard required. 
Uh, ladder, yeah. Well, that that well that well the thing is though is that ladder required. Yes, but we do know where the wand is, and you know the best. You know it depends upon how late that ladder is going to be. If the ladder is relatively easy to find, and we have seen several levels, so that might not be the case. Here's uh, another level for Dig Shake. What do we got? Okay, interesting. Now, remember, when it comes to shapes, um, you know, we can still have segmented levels, so this could still be like level 1 or level 3 or even level 5. It could also yeah, be it... level 6. Yeah, it does not look like our uh, second spirals. Ooh. So we are dealing with a life or money uh, mugger. We're also Not dealing interested with lots... in keys. We're also dealing with lots of lots of blue wizard robes too. Yeah, we'll, uh, stumble into the, the wizard robe dungeon. You know, you're gonna find it eventually. Oh, that's a that's a bad place for a shutter door in the reverse sea room. <laughs> Fred Coughlin taking a death just before uh, first quest level six. Yeah, ideally you're not. Uh, you hope you don't take a whole lot of deaths on the overworld. It's uh, lots of backtracking as opposed to dungeons, which tends to be less of a time sink. Yeah, with being all the way up in Death Mountain, it does mean that uh, some of those locations, especially down by the coast, are a lot more difficult to uh, get back to. We know the any roads are garbage. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. What's oh no? Well, you saw there were a lot of blue is robes, right? Yep. Yep. Now, the good news is, is we know for a fact that those blue is robes are not blocking the wand. The bad news is, is that it's very possible that those wizard robes might be guarding the ladder. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, wizard robes are, in logic, uh, defeatable by bombs. So, bombs and bombs only. Yeah, if need be, the game expects you to save enough rupees, buy those bomb upgrades, um, and uh, bomb them. Now, Dig as Shig many as it takes. I don't know if Dig Chig's gonna go back into that Triforce room and try and see if there's anything underneath it. Okay, it looks like that was level 3. Yes, sir. There's... Oh, there's a magic key for Fred, but is one heart container shy of being able to pick it up? Oh, look at this! Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think this has got to be first quest overworld. Oh, yeah, let's see the uh, vanilla level 2 spot. Yeah. 100%. So that's why we're not seeing these runners uh, run around checking those uh, flute spots for sure. And I imagine if they see the power bracelet, well, the power bracelet still could be blocking some things, but there's going to be far fewer of them, especially since we already know where one of them, you know, contains. Yep, one of them was our take any road. Wow, what happened there on Fred's side? Uh, that Gleok was guarding that Triforce in not a very secure location. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> Here's another and that's level our one. level one. So, Ooh. interesting that Fred did not jump back in there. That's true. Here's and another level he's... on Dig Shake's side. You know what? I'm thinking this is our level eight. 
Well, actually, no, wait, maybe, I don't think it can be level 8, that would have to be one more over. Yeah, I know this is not our level 8, this is something else. I mean, if Dig Shake would pick up that Triforce, it looks like he's gonna clear these enemies and, uh, check this push block. Yeah, this can definitely be an item or a staircase. Oh, uh, meanwhile... Uh, sorry to cut you off. Meanwhile, Fred up here on Casino Corner. I don't think we've seen this, uh, check, these checks yet. Yep, it pushes. Do we have an item? We have an item. It's a heart container. That's good news <laughs> for, uh, Dick Shake, because when he does discover that any key, he will be able to pick it up. The keys won't be an issue. Yep, and uh, Fred up here on Casino Corner finding the letter in uh, Medium Secret. Hey, we got HUD clip. And got yes, sir. Always a, a nice little trick to, to see. Tons of fun. I've had uh, bunches of fun exploring the HUD. You can find Armos up there. It's really uh, entertaining sometimes. Now, I can't do the HUD clip, but I know of an alternate way of exploring the HUD. How's that? Ram cheats. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh, never. Um, it looks like Fred finding the uh, a level up here in uh, the Vanilla Letter Cave, level 6. A very free Triforce. Um, not sure if that's the same level that Dig Shake is in right now. Uh, same color palette, at least. Yes, they're they're in the same dungeon right now. Okay. Yeah, and we know that uh, there's a heart container in this Triforce room. We don't know what else is in this. Now again, the big thing that they're both looking for now is the uh, step ladder. Although yep. I don't know if Fred got the same information as Dick Shake did. Yeah, it's probably likely this is level 6. It just feels like it. No, this is a uh, confirmed level 6. Uh, Fred grabbed the Triforce and he uh, showed oh, us his, that's right. uh, his map. He was kind enough to show us. So if it's level six, yeah, no, there's should, there's one other item in level six. Uh, we found the uh, cellar item, and that was just a heart container. So there's a floor drop item here, which would replace the heart container. Could be in a room like this one. Ooh, there's some bombs. Room is empty, but. Big Shake, unfortunately, taking a death right before grabbing this Triforce here. Luckily, it's free. Well, you can get past everything. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, that uh, that one heart start is is really hurting these folks. I yep. can't believe it's 42 minutes in, and that's the first time I've said that. One heart start. Oh, jeez. I'm off tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you can say that when uh, when uh, either racer found out that was what it was going to be their health, you could say their heart stopped. <laughs> yeah, I've I've done some commentary with Fred, so um, I'm surprised uh, he wasn't a little more punny tonight. And look at that! Speaking of Fred finding any key here on uh, is that yep Monocle Rock. Good old Monocle Rock. White sword item confirmed. Very valuable. But unfortunately, it doesn't grant you any extra defense, so back to the start, Fred will go. Yeah, if uh, Dig Shick sticks around this area, he too will find that any key. 
Both these runners uh, tied up in Triforces. Only difference is Dig Shake with the one out of three, Fred with the one out of level one. almost 25 minutes in dig shake is gonna find his key right here but uh, right now it's a hunt for the ladder yeah, the ladder is the finding... item that yeah we're finding a, a new dungeon here but, um, yeah, dig shakes already been in this dungeon I actually I think Fred's already been in this dungeon or oh, okay it was Dig Shake, anyway. Yeah, I think it will, must have been Dig Shake. Uh, maybe Fred can get some more ground covered with his any key. Of course, he does have to be careful. That's right, I think this was... Yeah, this was level 3, yeah, when Dig Shake entered. That's right, this one was the uh, Wizrobe... Uh, Paradise. Uncle Wizzy's clubhouse. Yes, yes they do. I need to watch UHF again sometime. UHF, what is that? Should I tell him, guys? <laughs> if you don't know what UHF is, I don't know if there's any hope left for you. I might know it, I might just not know it by the acronym. Oh. Uh, that's not an acronym, That that's the name of the movie. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I you can't help. Meanwhile, Dig Shake, I believe it, this is level one. A uh, friend was in here earlier, grabbed that Triforce from that Gliok. Yep. And uh, Fred bailed out of here, so I'm not sure if he picked up a couple of hearts or uh, what happened. But uh, let's see if Dig Shake sticks around. Ah, okay, that level was under the Armo statues. Yes, sir. That is level one confirmed. Right above our uh, monocle rock holding our any key. <laughs> and this one heart is uh, is really doing some damage to Fred. Alright, as much as I'd love to sit here and mock everybody who doesn't know who Weird Al is, we better concentrate on this race. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly, um, 100%. This is an yeah. exciting one. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Two out of three. And these, uh, these flags, I mean, they're a whole bunch of fun. I don't know if you've been playing them, uh, but um, I've been, I've almost gotten used to this mirror, mirrored overworld by now. Yeah, reverse overworld is definitely something that uh, you gotta get used to. Yep, and uh, Fred, looking at, looking at his uh, Triforce, uh, Triforce is up to five. You know what? That was our first small secret. You are 100% correct in the waterfall. I don't think we've seen uh, much of these lost hills. And it's funny, we've gone almost, you know, 48 minutes and we're only discovering small secrets. And they're some of the most abundant of the secrets out there. Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is 100% laws approved, unfortunately. I haven't seen them in chat. Uh, it might be lurking out there somewhere, uh, but yeah, large secret 123, medium uh, 39, and you know, just now finding a whole bunch of smalls, 
Sounds good to me. Dig Shake now maybe digging up Death Mountain? Yeah. Fortunately, uh, wasting a bomb there. I'm just gonna up an A and get those back. It opens. What have we got down here? Oh, okay, so it's just um, another heart container that's under a ro Triforce room. <laughs> yep. Heart containers are plenty. Well, except for the Nine ones that you total. start with. Yep, yep. But uh, Fred is up to seven hearts total. Yep, but takes another death. Unfortunately, each time they up an A, they are back down to their starting capacity of one heart. It's a good thing that both of them found the recorder, that, you know, that fast travel away from Death Mountain. Yep, unfortunately we don't have any of the, um, it more, uh, or the newer, uh, recorder flags, such as warping to new dungeons and, uh, things like that. Um, no, we do have the warping to new dungeons flag set, don't we? I don't believe that's set for this... It had to have been because if you warp to that uh, Armo statue. I believe he has the Triforce out of that one already. Right, that, that is what warping the new dungeons means, is it warps to it warps to where the dungeons are, not where the dungeons used to be. Oh, sorry, no, I didn't mean that one. Um, I meant uh, warps to unclear dungeons. Yes. Right, so you get the whistle, and then all of a sudden you can warp to dungeons you haven't cleared, you haven't found yet. Yeah, that, that's, that's a really that's fun the, flag. Yeah, that's a fun flag and isn't a, a hidden. Uh, but then again, we're talking about the All Boards No Swords tournament. You know, fun flags? I don't think so. <laughs> These are hardcore flags. Yeah, hardcore community hints here. Unfortunately, the runner's not falling for the bait. Those numbers are too round. Think sure you can find in level 9 for the first time. Thinking about it, thinking about it, yeah, he, Fred's gonna pick up that extra heart container. And he's gonna see that wand on the coast! Yep, Fred definitely uh, preferring the those hit points. Uh, this is definitely a seed where some defense in a ring would be very valuable. Right now, checking out the southern coast. You know, and chat's, chat's actually re chat's actually reminding me, you know, a play into level 7 just might be the one thing. If Dig here is going to do a nice uh, clip here, that's only available when uh, mirrored overworld. And I clip from that side of Death Mountain over to this side. Very useful uh, information Ooh. to have. There's our, there's our third large. We go over here at Spectacle Rock. There he is. So we got three glass lenses in play. gonna check. Nope. Gonna try and take out some of these Stalfos. Nope. Ah, here we go. Readying this. Ooh. We haven't seen a ladder block Triforce, but we have seen this that ladder block wand. We need the wand in order to defeat Ganon, because in the uh, All Boards No Swords, Swordless Tournament, 
the wand fills the function as the sword. We have uh, some trolls in chat here, uh, hoping that it is eight Triforces that are blocking the ladder, i.e. ladder being in level nine. That's, that's, that's pot. well, you know what, that is possible, because we know that the Pose Voice are on the overworld, and that's one of our uh, wand blocks. The other wand block is a Gleok, and we know that there was a Gleok guarding a Triforce, but... Well, he wasn't guarding it very well, so level, you know, level 9 having the ladder is a possibility. And I guess the ultimate troll would be uh, the ladder in level 9, and also maybe the bow in level 9, with uh, silver arrows being blocked by Goma somewhere. Yep, and well, we haven't seen any Gomas yet. And then, of course, throw in a uh, ape blue wiz robes, why not? Well, I was thinking uh, Goma in second quest level 8 would be pretty awful with all those staircases. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm I, I'm not thinking about trolls at the moment. I just want to see this. Uh, I just want to see a good race. I mean, so far, 55 minutes in, this has been a great race. These runners are tied in Triforces, I think tied in information. Oh. Um, just clearing out what they can, but they're doing it solely with the, the breadstick there. I forgot that the Patras also count as a wand block as well. Yes, sir. 100%. How else are you going to kill those? Yikes. So I hate to say this, but that the best news that each of these racers can get is that the wand is blocked by a Patra. Or did I say the wand is blocked by a Patra? Did I meant Triforce? Indeed. Yes. Yep, yep. Triforce or the ladder. Oh no, it can't be the ladder. Never mind, scratch that. It can't that. be the ladder, yeah. The wand, the wand can't be blocked by a Patra unless there's a glitch. In this case, everyone will be uh, yelling a certain name featured yeah. over there on the right-hand side of the screen in blue. We haven't seen a whole lot of vanilla. Okay, here's this level. Um... I want to say that gray one is level three. No, the gray one. I think the gray one is level one. Well, level one is up on the Lost Hills. The, uh, uh, Dig Shake was just in the the gray one down by Vanilla Start. Yeah, Chad is correct. That could be a Gleok block uh, in that room. But if it is, it could definitely not be the ladder. That could be the bow. Was oh, that where we found the Triforce in this level? Hmm. Um, yes, I think so. Yeah, definitely, uh, Fred not interested at all in that compass. Fairly confident that, uh, we've seen the Triforce out of here. But there's gotta be some progression somewhere in one of these dungeons. Uh, we know the wand is on the coast, blocking, blocked by the ladder. Armos Adam was just a heart container. Uh, the white sword I'm in any key, which is useful. Um, but all the items we've found in dungeons so far have been nothing but uh, hearts. Possibly the white sword item, just a pack of four bombs. One of the things that these racers could certainly use is a red candle. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be an immediate advantage to whoever can find the something like the red but candle no, first another heart container 
I think this means that we're going to be seeing a lot of our items be uh, floor drops. I was almost thinking that maybe uh, there was some craziness that the take any uh, hearts could be shuffled in the randomizer, but that, that's that's just ridiculousness. Oh, you mean you walk into a take any, it says here, you can have this ladder or you can have this bow. I don't know about those items, but it would be interesting maybe if it was a boomerang, you know? You mean like have you a choice between a boomerang or a red candle? Yeah. Something that's not hard required. Mm. It's like, hey, you might want a boomerang. Well, that's not entirely. Well, I don't want a boomerang. If we're talking all boards, <laughs> no swords, that uh, that red candle could be hard required. Yeah, yeah, not not some something hard required, but you know, boomerang or an unrequired raft. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to pick up a raft, but at least if you see uh, a raft in a taken cave, you'd know that those two spots are not required. There's a map. Oh. Yeah, I think Name that level. one. <laughs> that looks like an animal of some sort. I'd say it's a. I'd say it's a puppy two heads short of a Cerberus, or one head short, maybe. It's easier to do a uh, cat impression uh, on comms, so I'm gonna go with kitty cat. Okay, well, if you want cat impressions, my cat will probably be around later. Meow. Oh, I wish my cat sounded like that. Meow. <laughs> that's that's more Gary from SpongeBob. Uh, that, that reminding me of Dig Shake in this uh, yellow banana level. Speaking of bananas, we have not found bananas. I think that means the banana should be right here. We found the Gibdos. <laughs> Yep, Fred Coughlin playing as the Gibdo. Uh, our Gibdos will be Link Sprites. Ooh, wow. Those uh, Gibdos did roll upward. And Dig Shake making it past the... the Danger Noodles, finding a heart container on the ground here. I don't think we've seen this right-hand side of the level. Two Triforce rooms back-to-back. -back. Ooh, dark nut room. Yeah, I think this is the last... No, there's a couple other rooms that Dig Shake hasn't been in. Unless he's just safe scummed those bombs away. Uh, this is, uh, this is one of our smaller levels, and we are still... Still hunting for items. Hour in, we found a breadstick and a bunch of hearts. And the any key. Don't forget the any key. Hmm. I, I'm still starting to think that level 7 is going to be the best play. Because I think that's the only level that we really haven't seen a whole lot out of. You know, level 8 is still missing as well. Yeah, there's one level that we haven't found completely. The one in the forest uh, is uh, unidentified. I don't know why it's unidentified. I forget what was over there. Um, but it's poss still possible we are dealing with the power bracelet block or a raft block somewhere. Well, the good news is, is there is one raft uh, block that they can check right now. You know, because we have yep. mirrored overworld, they can actually scroll over to the one on the coast. It'll, it's not in logic, and it will never be required, but it is something that is within their own uh, personal possibilities. Yeah, curious that uh, oh, I don't recall of that they have done that. Dick oh, Shake. look at that. <laughs> yeah, Big Shake just found the raft. Commentator's curse is uh, alive. Oh, Fred getting noodled. And Dick Shake. Oh, look at that. This awful level or awful room. 
Yeah, Dig Shake yeah, getting uh, hit something. inside the door frame. Yeah, he was on his way out, hoping uh, hoping to save the room and get a lower, uh, a less dangerous enemy as a low priority. Yeah, but that is level five confirmed, holding the the raft. So we are now we now have two items oh, and uh, Dig Shake West raft blocked. scrolling over. Yep. This is level 8 here on the, the coast. This could it's, just be the advantage that Dig Shake needs. Yep, if uh, if the ladder is in here, ladder or red candle, this is a huge advantage for Dig Shake right here. On the other hand, if it contain, you know, say, two boomerangs. There's the compass. Yeah. Yep, Fred can scroll over there at any time. Um, the question is, when is he going to go back over there? He's already cleared out levels 1 and 6. Um, he will have to go back there eventually for level 5. But it could be a while before we see him go back to the coast, unless he finds the ladder somewhere. Or, of course, Fred could use his uh, big brain knowing how the game works and say, you know, I just picked up the, la the, the raft. I'm going to go use that right away and uh, go find level 8. Hey, there's a Gleok. Well, that that's not going to hold anything important unless there's an item behind it because that uh, shutter door. Yep, Fred, back here in uh, banana yellow, big shake, lime green. The ladder! The ladder is here in level 8. Yeah, Dig I thought Shake it might with be. A firm grasp. And up in A and a wand away. So you needed to go to level 5, clear that whisper room to get the raft in order to get to level 8, in order to find that step ladder in order to get that wand. I think Dick Shake is yep, Dick Shake's gonna leave and is gonna come back with that wand. Well, no, you're right. You don't need the raft, but if you can't screen scroll, then you need the raft. Yeah, of course, uh Fred Kaufman, creator of the randomizer. He's he's comfortable screen scrolling. <laughs> yeah, the question is when. Yeah, exactly. Uh if he hasn't seen the raft, he might be thinking, okay. Raft's not in logic, it's buried in level 9, I don't need it. Yeah, that's one of the things about having important items in level 9, is it can uh, throw you off. Well, it's something about uh, thinking about logic too much. If uh, you're concerned, uh, you might just meta yourself out of the wind. Yeah, sometimes you can know the game so well that you think you're like 5 moves ahead and it's still like 3 moves ahead of you. Or it's like I like to say, the game knows that you know that the game knows that you know. Yep. Uh, Dick Shake whistling around back here in the, the woods. Where is he now, headed? Well, now that we've got that uh, wand, there's two other items that we still need to find. The bow and the silver arrows. Yep. 100%. Looks like uh, Fred Coughlin's back here in this uh, Dig Dogger room, going to uh, get revenge. And he does push. Oh, that's the white sword. Or whatever's left of the white sword. Yep, 100% confirmed. 
Only the, the white sword bombs will be in there. Not a staircase like that. But information is information. It tells uh, Fred that that item check in here is, is uh, done. That bomb, that bomb was uh, what the white sword, like, when, with all boards, no swords, with these particular flags, um, because there's no swords in this tournament, the white sword item is, re or the white sword itself is replaced by a pack of four bombs, which is then further shuffled into the dungeon uh, item pool. So that's why the four pack of bombs appears inside that cellar room. Yep, we found our white sword item uh, at Monocle Rock. It was our any key. Very nice find uh, fairly early on. But, uh, other than that, uh, this seat has been kind of trolly with items. Kind of Speaking quarter of trolly. Oh, Fred, not going to take the book. It is an atlas, and he says, Nope, I'm good. I've seen enough of these shapes dungeons, and I know 7 through 9. Um, but I was uh, saying a little bit earlier, uh, we found our recorder fairly early. Other than that, I haven't found a whole lot of items uh, until Fred, that raft Fred's which led the, to the ladder. Fred's uh, in the right spot. He just has to uh, screen scroll down to level uh, level 8. And yeah, he'll again, be uh, back on track with the dig shake. Yeah, uh, again, he has to be careful of his hearts. He's down to half a heart. Um, but using level 6 wisely. Came in earlier and just grabbed the Triforce. Now back in here looking for an item. An item or two, actually. Oh, look at that. <laughs> three, uh. I was gonna say three rupee, uh, five rupees on the floor at the same time. Now, Dig Shake is gonna wanna be checking the walls for secret passages because level seven and eight, sec or level eight, second quest does have walkthrough walls. Yep. Meanwhile, Fred uh, using meat strats once again versus these moblins. Uh, gets a nice clock drop and a pack of bombs. Right next door is a Dodongo, but those Beemos are guarding him well. Oh, well, here's our second item, and it is the red candle. Dig Shake has a better weapon, so he's gonna leave that be. Now we're just looking for that Triforce. Yeah, that's a that's a fairly um, fairly good move, I think. Uh, this late into the seed, 72 minutes in. Hi, Goma. Um, has that wand? Hi, ladder block. Oh wait, he has a ladder. That's a Goma block anyway, so... Yuck. So if that Goma is blocking our Triforce, that is uh, news that our, our bow is outside of level 9. Now the good news is, well, with the exception of the floor item in level 8, um... You know, that Goma can't be guarding any staircases that lead to items, because we found both of them. Now that Goma there, that blue Goma, isn't going to have a floor drop item because, they, it, we, you know, it was a staircase. Now, in level 8, their second quest, there are some uh, one-way, you know, staircases. Dig Shake is digging level 8. He's gotta, he's gotta get that Triforce. Yeah, I guess nothing other than a Goma could be blocking him. 
this, I believe, was where the ladder was. I'm sorry, uh, I'm on my edge of my seat looking for uh, the next item to see uh, what is going on. Who's who's gonna jump ahead or maybe Fred's gonna catch up. Uh, if Fred finds the bow or the silver arrows, he he won't be in so much of a deficit here. That wand and ladder combo is a big advantage for Dig Shake. So far, he hasn't capitalized. He hasn't found the Triforce out of level eight. But this is this just means that uh, Fred has an opportunity to either um, sink as much time into level eight as the Shake is, or possibly uh, you know spend less time in level eight and catch up a bit. Chat confirming that we have found that bait block. Yep, that bait block looks pretty useless to me. I think you could potentially go up from there. This block, ooh, this wasn't tried. Is there anything here? Nope, just a staircase. But well, we are taking staircases. This is, uh, this is some level that Fred's in. Yep, yeah, this is level ouch. This is level, oh gee, I wish we had a red ring. You know, it's it's kind of sad though, I keep, uh, I keep looking, Fred is like, why aren't you using the wand to fight them? And I'm like, oh wait, he doesn't have the wand. Yeah, at this point, Fred would take a red ring or a red candle. He might preferably have a red candle. Well, he's not, well, not be, no, because by the time he finds the red candle, he will have already found the, uh, found the ladder, which means he would have already found the, ooh, ladder blocked out of that, tri or the, uh, map. Yeah, I don't know if we were ready to see that shape. This shape is too hot for TV. Oh, there's a workaround. Ouch. Name that ink block. That looks like a gun. It costs Fred 64 rupees and uh, definitely looks like a, a gun. Pistol. Uh, it's, got the, uh, it's got the hammer and everything. Yeah, so that looks like kind of like a revolver almost. Yep. Or dolphin. Uh, yeah, definitely looks more yeah, like a dolphin. Yeah, I definitely can see a dolphin. More level 6. I mean, that would go very well with that level 8 mermaid I saw once. I think I heard uh, Redbird Grad refer to Vanilla First Quest 6 as a dolphin-shaped level. It's supposed to be a dragon. <laughs> Shake not finding that Triforce. I think that's on the inside of the spiral.
Okay, there's the uh, drop item out of level 6. But now Fred knows the news that there's nothing good in there. Yeah, say la vie, just another heart container. Uh, brings them up to 9 total. But once again, an up an A and just one heart. There's gotta be a way to get to the inside of that spiral. Now, Fred is in the correct vicinity. All he has to do is go left. Can he make it? Don't, don't get hit. Don't get hit by those stealthos. Or those ropes. There we go. He's going to be getting into level 8 very soon. That's true. That bait, that bait block is uh, blocking uh, potentially part of the dungeon. Now Fred is here in level 8, has to make it through and will hopefully be able to find that ladder room. Yep, I imagine he will be sticking around here for a while. Uh, Dig Shake was in here for a There's bit. Um, two, uh, three items in here, one on the floor, two in staircases. Down to only half a heart. Gotta be careful. And dig shake with the bomb upgrade purchase. Yeah, a bit late. Uh, Fred got that quite a while ago. Mm, better late than never. Yeah, but uh, they are. Uh, dig shake just a bit uh, in the lead right now. Dig Shake's in the lead, but uh, Fred is about to, uh, you know, take, you know, well, is about to even the score. Yeah, with the, each minute that Fred's in here, I think he's uh, gaining a little bit of time up on Dig Shake. Well, he's uh, already he gotten to the ladder. No, yeah. this isn't where the ladder was. I was mistaken. Yeah, now, unless, of course, Dig Shake finds that bow or silver arrows. Um, again, no. We haven't found those, and those are 100% required. Um, so another very important item to find. Alright, we finally have a uh, map here in uh, this dungeon that Dig Shake is in. Yeah, we've already been in this level here. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the uh, full ink blot though. We have. Oh, have we? A while okay. ago. Yeah. I missed that on Fred's end. Here we go. This could be something. I think this is. But we know if it's. Ooh, wow! Look at that. Those are really beefy wall masters. Yep, yeah, not playing nice. Now, we know that if Fred finds the red candle, he's gone too far. Ooh, gets a double bomb drop. Yep, he's gone too far. The uh, ladder is back there somewhere. But this is going to make combat easier for him. Yep, he certainly is not going to just leave. Is, I guess, gonna play a little 2D of his flutey. Well, now that he's got the, uh, now that he's got it, he can, you know, take down this room. But I think he had to have taken the other staircase at the, entr at the entrance. So, yeah, the longer he goes without going back to start, checking the other options, Here we go. I 
don't think we've seen this room. Oh, look at that. We can go further below. There's nothing there. Let's see if this is anything. Nope. Yep. Meanwhile, uh, Dig Shake grabbing his uh, fifth Triforce, or sixth Triforce, sorry. Now, one thing that uh, Fred will have is that he's already invested in, t in some of those levels, so he knows which levels ha do and do not have items. So, like, for example, we know there was nothing in level 6. Now, Fred's gonna do what Dig Shake... Oh, no, Fred's not gonna do that. Now, Fred actually can't leave level 8, because, when, you know, once he goes back up, he's got to uh, up and A out of the, uh... You know, up... He's got up and, you know, he's got to save and quit. Yep, he cannot screen scroll off of the raft spot, and he cannot get off of it without the raft. Yep. Okay, good. He's just pirouetting to open up that bomb wall. He's worried there for a moment. Yeah, Fred knows what he's doing. Oh. Being dragged by the wall masters, maybe? Nope. getting hit by that other Goma. I was gonna try going this direction. Finds that other Goma. Burns the Goma in defiance and gets locked in with another Goma. Oh boy. Goma, please. Alright, well, Fred's gonna give up and go back this way, and... Oh. Oh, he's gonna go this way. There it is. There's the uh, step ladder for Fred. Now, if he can get this Triforce out of eight before, you know, before Dig Shake does, might be a bit of an advantage. But no, he's gonna up A, get his uh, controls back. Meanwhile, Dig Shake is gonna be taking down this Gleok. Fred's going straight for the coast. Makes sense to me. I think he has a suspicion that he is wand blocked out of a couple items or triforces. Get that, you just need that wand, period. Oh. Oh. Getting hit by the wand fire. Feels bad. Yeah, unfortunately, this has not uh, been the kindness of overworlds. Well, don't forget, there is always a possibility that we might still have a... Uh, we may still have a bow or a uh, silver arrow block by, uh, you know, whiz robes. 
probably just gonna duck in here to reset the uh, room here. Yeah, the worst thing, when you have only one starting heart, those, uh, those Gurias are one-hit kills. Well, I should say they're one-hit KOs. Now, Fred has that one. Just has to make it back to level 8. Oh! Yeah, no fun, man. Leavers are one of my least favorite overworld enemies in vanilla. Here's a tip if you're learning to screen scroll, don't do it on a screen where there's levers. Let's see, where is Fred going? Fred's going where? Fred's heading back to level 2 or 3 down here. That's right, here's the dungeon that he's looking for. Yeah, I think he's uh, a little flipped around by this mirrored overworld. And he's got no one to blame but himself. Yeah, can you really blame him at that point? <laughs> This is an easy Triforce to find, so... Probably just gonna um, look up here. So, so we got uh, someone in chat saying that the level Fred is in looks like a mutated level 3. It I'm does. Like, no. <laughs> Going for a ladder clip. Fortunately, nothing in the, the tea room. Oh, just a single Dodongo guarding the Triforce. Yeah, that's six for Tre uh, for Fred. Yep, so things will be kind of evened up. Seven and eight, seven and eight. So we've got ourselves a race here. Yep, all the way through, 92 minutes in. Uh, yep. It's been like this the whole whole time. Yeah, now uh, Fred has dug level 6, and I don't think Dig Shake has. I think you're right. I think uh, Dig Shake grabbed that Triforce and left. So Luckily, that, he you know, so... That yeah, he does have that recorder, though, and uh, level 1 and level 8 are right next door. Not too bad to get back there. Fred with full hearts. Haven't seen that too often this raid. And yep. That's right. So this is this here is level seven that yeah, they're both in. Right? I believe so. Yeah. So now there's an item, there's an item on the floor. Nick Shakes had a head start in looking. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been a little difficult to keep track of uh, which levels quick full cleared out um, but given that Fred is at nine whole hearts uh, he's found eight of those I just realized those are really really strong gels 
It can two one hits to take them down. Yep, Lord Banana I don't think would have done very much good other than stun a couple of enemies. The only thing Lord Banana would have done is given those uh, Gorillas a taste of its own medicine. Maybe, I don't know if they've rolled zero, we don't know if they've rolled zero or one yet. I, I'm fairly certain they've rolled zero HP. But, uh, it does seem, uh, with each passing minute, the... Uh, oh, okay, well there's one of our boomerangs. How yep, fitting and, uh, it's in the blue level. <laughs> but with each uh, with each item we find, uh, in each minute that passes by, it seems like level nine is going to be holding out, possibly with both the uh, the bow and the silver arrows. Now the good news is Fred's going to find that is going to pick it up. All right, well, I guess uh, blue boomerang's better than no boomerang, maybe. I know there's people who would absolutely disagree with that statement. It's the the blue level, it's it's messing with his eyesight. Well, it's a sad, sad level with a sad, sad prize. It's only one true Lord Banana. Jake finally able to take down these patches, but unfortunately the patches take him down. See, Fred can't do any better. No. Not, not very nice with those BMOs in there as well. Fred is gonna opt to get out of level seven. Interesting move. At this point, one of our other levels has to have, like, a red ring. I don't think the red ring is ever considered required. No, not, I mean, not... It's gotta no. be somewhere. It depends on your skill level. If you're talking about my skill level, it's absolutely required. But at, the, at these uh, racers, at their level, no, it's absolutely not required. It's a really nice to have item. Yeah, but I, I was thinking just that uh, I don't think it was necessarily in the code. No, that it's the it's, game ever expects you to pick that up. No, it's it cannot even be used as a holy grail uh, item either. Yeah. Now there are uh, there are uh, there are uh, races that have altered uh, rules, like for example the Valentine's Day race that does have a red ring required. But that's because the, the purpose of that is to get all of the red items. But that's a, yeah, uh, that's a, yeah, uh, player-defined rule, not, not a, not a rule that the, uh, randomizer has. Yep, kind of like, uh, some of those bingo races. Yeah, it's kind of like a bingo race, or a Groundhog Day race. Yep, as a Dig Shake finds that white sword here, uh, not picking those up, not blaming them. Looks like Fred's back here in seven. Now there is a floor drop here in seven, if we haven't seen it on Dig Shake's side. We have a big uh, book pickup. Okay. I mean, it, it still acts as an atlas, so there's still some utility. Oh, come um, on, come it's... on, get it. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That Patra was guarding the Triforce. Yeah, I think Fred narrowed it down to that one. At the same time, uh, Dig Shake taking out death on the overworld. I'm gonna be really curious to see their death counts at the end of this race. 
So just like just like that, Fred is now in the lead. At Oops. least teetering on the brink of the lead, I'd say. It's 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 a maybe thing, you know. It's there's. Well, he's got a, a one Triforce lead. I think Big Shake has a bit more of level 8 cleared out, and that might be an advantage to him later on. Now, one thing but... Fred does have an advantage with is that he does have that bait. <laughs> yep, Fred is, uh, has been using that bait to very useful, uh, but if it turns... very useful strats with that bait. Now, I'm pretty sure we saw the, what was, you know, room above. But if we haven't, then it's always a possibility that bait is required. Now hold on a second, there's walkthrough walls here. Uh, hold yes, on. I would fail. That was a walkthrough walls. What level is this again? Is this level uh, 2 or...? It's gotta be 2, 4, 5, 6, or 8. Wow. It's uh, level 1, 3, uh, seven and I think maybe nine as well. Yeah, so I guess that's I guess uh, yeah I guess that's only possible if you have uh, yeah because second quest uh, doors are turned on because of the level seven through nine. That's right. If it was all shapes one through nine, then there wouldn't be any walk through walls. Trying to think what Fred is doing in here. Okay, probably checking that room out. I guess there's those rooms at the end there. Yep, I think uh, they're just clearing out some of the wand blocks that they had earlier. Really, uh, Dig Shake has avoided those spirals of doom. Uh, Fred has cleared out level 7, but I don't think he cleared out very much of it. Good news, both of them found that item. And Fred found that item very quickly as well. That's definitely an advantage on Fred's side, is that he didn't have to dig. And he doesn't have to worry about digging for that raft either. Now the only problem is, is he may think that raft is the silver arrows or something. Now that we've got this uh, blue land molar room. Oh, there's the power bracelet. Interesting. So that's the uh, floor item in this level. So, well, there's the heart container. So yeah, this is level two, and that's everything that Fred could ever possibly want. Nothing else out of here. Yeah, where do you go? What about level one? I don't know why he's not clearing out level eight. You know what? I think I think the reason for that is is that it's very possible that there might be a, uh, a you know, a uh, bow block in level eight. Or no, he's going back into level eight now. So. Yeah, he's just one Triforce away, uh, Dig Shake, he's, uh, checking out the, the tail of this dolphin. Uh, still looking for either the bow or the silver arrows. Yeah, didn't find anything useful in here. And I'm really not sure why Dig Shake is in here to begin with, uh, I think a better t use of his time would be yep. to clear out a dungeon that holds a Triforce. Oh, shoot. Here's a wand block. Ooh. Come on, you can do this, Fred. Oh, almost, almost gets it. One hit, oh, gets it.
Did Fred find the red ring? Very possible. It doesn't look like he's changed colors. Yeah, it must have just been my imagination. I guess maybe that Gleok didn't do quite the damage that I thought he, did, he was going to do. It is uh, kind of likely we've seen a bunch of heart containers and staircases. I think there's still a floor drop here in level 8. Yep, we found the ladder and the uh, red candle. Yep, so there should still be a floor drop if the, if the floor drop item is the bow. Remember, we still have that bait block that we don't know is required. Ah, the old man tonight is uh, Captain Falcon. Maybe there isn't a block after all, because I think the bait block was somewhere in the middle. Um, the bait block, I believe, was on the uh, far right side near the top. Okay, it was near the top, but it wasn't quite at the top. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was quite at the top of the spiral. If that's the case, then I could still have a room past it. I don't think yep. we've explored much of the upper part of the spiral, have we? Oh, uh, well, we've done the uh, the one row across, part of the right-hand side. I think it's actually yeah, the there's, center there's, of the spiral. Yeah, there's three it's... rooms at the top of the spiral that have not been checked yet. But it's, uh, it's really that center portion that really hasn't been explored, at least by Fred. Well, we're, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that the uh, bait block, you know, past that is the staircase that leads to the center. Okay, Chad's telling us that Dig Shake has found the silver arrows. Ooh, okay, yeah, big find on, uh, on Dig Shake then. There's the Triforce. So not, as, so not quite as far behind now. We I found the Triforce, mine. and where is it? Okay, there we go, we found a way in. There's still one more, uh, there's still one more room here. You know, I don't think we found any of the one-way staircases in level 8. Although that might be one. So the silver arrows in level one. I think Shake is done with that. Where so is now, he headed now? So was that level? Yes. Yeah, so if silver arrows were in level one, Fred's probably going to go straight to level nine. So I can't do much because without that raft. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the best thing to do if level... Well, level 1 is definitely a lot easier to dig out. Oh, no, he's gonna go straight into level 9. Yeah, I bet Fred feels behind. And I guess technically he is, because it did take him a little bit extra time to uh, get that step ladder. He was a little um, behind in picking the ladder up, but at the same time he was getting valuable information. Um, so, I mean, obviously he's in this uh, level 9 sub 2 hours, so that's pretty good. So, speaking of information level 9... There's level 9. Right now, Fred is looking for a staircase with a bow and what he's hoping is the silver arrows. 
And the good thing about Second Quest Level 9 is that there are not very many staircases, and that was one of them. And that's the one-way staircase, too. The yeah, bad news is these old men, they will not be helpful one bit. No, but level nine or level nine second quest is a lot smaller than level eight or level nine, you know, first quest. In fact, I would say level eight second quest is the true level nine of second. Fred in level 9, but Dig Shake is the one fighting the Patra. Here we go. We find a map. Oh, shoot. And I think uh, Dig Shake found a red ring. Um, but unfortunately, not enough to deal with that Patra. Still having trouble with that Patra. So yeah, I think uh, I think Fred's gonna be able to dig out this level. Oh, double shoot! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, putting that boomerang to good use. I think, uh, yep, Dig Shake is headed up to the ferry. He's gonna fill up his health before uh, fighting that Patra. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, there goes that. I wonder if Fred is going to... Is he going to try? Yes, he is. So he knows... He knows that that is a one-way staircase. And that is... Uh, that is something that is actually found in uh, Second Quest Level 9. In fact, I believe that is the... One of the staircases right before Ganon. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I remember, you come out there and what happens is, is that you go in one direction... And you find Ganon, but if you go take a secret, you know, hit, you know, hidden secret uh, door to the north, you, you know, enter into a room, and that's where the uh, passage of the silver arrows are. Well, passage yep. that leads to the vicinity where the silvers are. Yeah, then uh, there's a whole bunch of like one-way doors and you know oh, yeah. doors that lock you in. Yeah, level. Yeah, <laughs> second quest. You have to start. You have to go to the left. You got to go all the way around because there's like those turnstile rooms and one-way doors. Yeah, I'd much rather play Rando. Yeah, Rando, well, depends. Well, Rando is more fun because you really just don't know where everything is. I mean, you can also set it to 0 HP enemies or 15 HP enemies. Yeah, 0 HP happens to be one of my favorite flags because I'm a noob. <laughs> Starting with the boomerang. <laughs> Ah, let's not go that far. I mean, I want to find stuff. Oh, we found Zelda. Very nice. So Zelda oh, is in uh, the left cheek. Yep, kind of like uh, chipmunks. They store a little bit of food in their cheeks for, you know, a midnight snack. In before the jokes oh. about Zelda being cheeky. <laughs> yep, uh, so, uh, uh, level 9 there, uh, saving us, uh, saving us some dessert. Once we kill the pig, have our, our bacon for dinner, we'll, we'll have the princess, uh, waiting for us over there. Now, it's probably likely the bow is here in level 9. That's the problem, though, because we know that silvers are not. But the good news is, though, is that with Fred being here in level 9, he's going to gain that extra information, like where Zelda's located. You know, we saw that single shutter door that doesn't open, and there was even a push block in the room, and that didn't you know, open the door. And there's Zelda's room. Um, then, of course, he's here listening to For the Roar of Ganon. We don't have it up on our side. And, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Dig Shake uh, has his Triforce out of seven. Whistling over to the, chorus, uh, the coast, just has to uh, 
dig level 8. Has most of it cleared out. Um, why would he not pick up the power bracelet? The power bracelet is 100% not required in this seed. Yep, not gonna do us any good. We have found our white sword item, we found all of our dungeons, and uh, the, the power bracelet cannot lock us out of anything. Although we are still looking for our bow, it's out there somewhere. Yeah, this, this is gonna be very difficult with starting with only one piece of, or one heart container. Because you may may need to just go and get more health before trying to get through some of these rooms. Might be very valuable to, uh, for Fred to spend some of his 218 rupees on some potion. Probably. But I think he's confident that he can finally get through this room. And he does. And he's that's where Zelda is located. Let's see if there's anything up here. There is indeed. Now this could be potentially a room. Is there anything over here? No, this is just the back door to Zelda's uh, house. Oh, get out there. We Let's see. Ooh, gotta deal with that whiz robe. And just to get the Lionel to respawn. There we go. Gets a heart for his troubles. And here's a staircase. Is this the bow? No, it's the red ring. Wants it. Oh, you bet he yes, does. Please. So that just leaves one item left in level nine. Unfortunately. Sadly, yeah, sadly, by the time he finds it, it may be a little too late. Well, I don't think so. I don't think we've saw that other item in level nine yet. I don't think so. There's another Patra. You know what? I think those Patra's uh, satellites rolled down. Don't know if we checked this room yet. Still possible that Wizrobe room is required. That's interesting, yeah, Fred not even attempting to see whether or not those uh, blue whiz robes, you know, how many HP they shuffled up or down. Here's a room. Oh, more whiz robes. Gotta deal with that one whiz robe. Oh, you're gonna have to take care of him. One, one bomb, two bombs, three bombs, three bombs! 
but there is nothing in the room. Feels bad. There's a fairy. Ooh, more life. Anything up here? There is indeed, but nothing important. That's just. Oh, that's a one way. Oh no. Happy two hours, everybody. Anyone just joining this, um, very interesting seed, uh, a whole bunch of levels to start. We did, uh, find the recorder, other than that, we didn't really find any items, um, until over an hour in, we found the raft, uh, which led Dig Shake over to level 8 there, on the coast, uh, grabbing his ladder and the red candle. Our wand was on the coast. Um, that, from there, we were able to, uh, just open up the seed, found the silver arrows in level one, um, or was it level two? And, um... Uh, yeah, I think and, silvers were level one. Yep. That's what everyone one, was yeah. saying. And, um, yeah, so, still looking for the bow, right here in level nine. Um, Dig Shake, I believe, still needs, yeah, still needs Triforce out of level eight. Um, so yeah, it's been a great race. Uh, both these runners have been neck and neck, I want to say pretty much the whole way through. Um, but Dig Shake was the first to uh, the ladder and the wand. But Fred, first into level 9 here. Uh, Fred did find one item in here. Not a useful item. So uh, we are pushing on. I would disagree with it being useless, but... <laughs> this room, this this might be our bow room right here, and Fred's not even trying. If Fred's not trying, it's probably not uh, worth doing. Well, we found Ganon. Well, we found Zelda. Da -na -na -na. In a Chevy room. Tons yeah. of fun. Got a Chevy room high five here. His dig shake is in the uh, level eight. Gotta go all the way around the spiral in order to get that Triforce. <coughs> yeah, I'm starting to think that. I'm starting to think that. Uh... Three blue is row by room is where the bow is located. And with that, Dig Shake is got you know has the final piece of the Triforce and is about to enter into level nine. Yep, Dig Shake has a little bit of ground to cover. Uh, the, he has to play catch up a little bit here. But, um, it's still anyone's well, not race. Quite. Dig, Dig Shake doesn't really have to catch up. Dig Shake just needs the bow. Whereas, don't forget, we know that Fred has to go back into level 1 to get those silvers. That is true. I guess I was thinking uh, Fred has uh, a bunch of level 9 cleared out. He knows where the Ganon and the Princess are. He knows that the one... He knows uh, he has the red ring. Uh, he got oh, that out of here. Oh, out of Zelda's room. I see now. Interesting. That might actually have been how Fred got in there. Maybe not. Um, but Fred just, he's just looking for the bow. He's looking for That's that second in item here. in here. We bomb out of here? Fred got a clutch fairy drop, but immediately bought by a uh, blue. Oh, I agree. Beam. Sorry, did not interrupt. Um, yeah, if the bow is not in level nine, then we might still yet have a race. It's still anyone's race, I think. Dig, Dig Shake could uh, take just the right paths and uh, cinch it up. Um, 
Fred could find it any second now and, you know, just choose it. Alright, I'm gonna start at level one. And we can go through, go from... But I find it uh, very funny that we keep having to uh, do the uh, boss fight cutscene here. So, you know, not yet. So, I'll come back. Not ready yet. That's a one way, and it's a ooh. Get hit by the whiz robes. There's a patra. Can you do a pat? Can you do an expando patra with reverse controls? Where there's a will, there's a way. Now there we go. We're here and do it, Rockapella. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Not with two bombs. Not with these uh, beefy whiz robes. Oh. Oh no. No, no, no. Not like this. Now. Now to get now now to Fred's credit though he is a very good player so I think he wouldn't have too much of a difficulty, you know, taking down those whiz robes. But I, I would hope that we would at least try and invest in a potion. We still don't know what the potion prices are. Maybe, but uh, Fred with the the pro strats, he marked down a bomb shop. Um, knows exactly where to go, saving those bombs. Um, and he's just a whistle away back into level 9. Yeah, it does look like Dig Shake will find Ganon. But Dig Shake's kind of in the opposite boat as Fred. You know, he's got the stabby, but he doesn't have the stabby launcher. But look at this! Fred is back here in level 1. Yep, Fred decided, um, nope, no thank you. I don't want to fight those wizard robes. He might still have to, because again, we're still missing that <laughs> item at nine. And I'm hoping it's the three wizard robe room, honestly. Ah, you know what? He wasn't able to fight these Gibdo rooms. That's why. Yeah, level uh, level one being combat blocked. There it is. There's the silver arrows for Fred Coughlin. Yeah, one more piece of the puzzle. Where is that D? Where's the D? Normally, I get my vitamin D in a nice, uh, healthy glass of orange juice. I didn't even know orange juice was fortified with vitamin D. Yes, sir. Yeah, Fred, Fred did find all the items in 8. I mean, there was one item uh, on the floor I don't think we saw. Did Fred turn down that uh, red can? He didn't turn down the red candle. He actually found that first before finding the uh, step ladder. Oh, yeah, that's right. In chat pointing out, it's uh, vitamin C is orange juice. Vitamin D is usually milk. Although I do believe in some places they'd actually... Uh, you know, fortify vitamin D with other... They use vitamin D, yeah, uh, for other things because uh, not everyone's a milk drinker, so... Yep, I... But it would uh, make I, sense I, because I, he... <clears throat> well, the problem yeah, is, that's... though, is... Sorry? Yeah, that's alright. Go ahead. 
Now, I was going to say, vitamin D is fat-soluble, whereas vitamin C is water-soluble. Oh, Jiggly Saint with the science. I mean, I still remember stuff from school. Barely. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm a health expert or anything like that. But, uh, there we go. Here, Fred taking down those... Drugs. And it moves. Very nice group. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's Lord Banana! You know what this means? All hell? Get down on your knees well, and praise Lord Banana? There's that, but there's also. <laughs> Where's the bow? Where's the it's knee? It's not level 9. It's in level 8? Uh, I think we found everything at 8. I think we cleared out no, level uh, 1 we, and did 6. We, did we find the floor drop at 8? I think so. I think they found a heart so Can in there somewhere. Can you confirm that, chat? Well... Well, the good news, though, is that Fred's gonna find the floor drop here. Yeah, let's see how well, uh, how good the, other the notes... The other item That's in level good. 9 was the red ring. Yeah, red ring and Lord Banana in level 9. Wow. Level 8 had our ladder and our red candle. Level 5 had our raft. Now, you know, if, if Fred held on to that raft, he wouldn't have had to worry about screen scrolling. But oh well. So now we're back in this. This one is level... Was this level... What level was this? This level four? Uh, is, I think this is over by Vanilla Start, right? Yeah. So this is uh levels two or three. Maybe this one's three. Yeah, judging by the shape. Yeah, I think it's I'm level three, right? It. Fred already checked this, and it's nothing. Oh, that's right, there's a staircase here. Yeah, it's definitely not two. We know where two was. Two was the banana shape, or the banana colored level. Oh! No transports, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, that's right, no transports and none segmented, so... Oh, you know what? I think, you know what it was? I think this might be five, and the one where the raft was, that was level three. This could be our item here. It's the bow! Fred Coughlin has reached go mode at 2 hours, 13 minutes, and 16, 17, 18, 19. You get the point, seconds. Yep, check your timekeeping devices uh, in Fred Coughlin's time zone. It will read go mode. I believe Fred prefers blitz mode. Fred writes uh, the randomizer. He doesn't get to choose the terms. It's go mode. And he knows where the pig is, he knows where the princess is. So I think we're all but wrapped up here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yep, that's uh, just this match up here. Freddy Coughlin versus Big Shake. This is the best two out of three, so Fred will be moving on. Um, does Dick Shake move on to the I, loser brackets? I believe Dick Shake does get bumped down to the yeah, loser bracket. Yeah, there we go. So Dick Shake uh, is not out of it yet, and uh, we have a bit more of the tournament left. Um, and it's it's getting really good. The best of the best are are left in it here. Um, this race has been a testament to that. It's been really close up until the very end here. 
Um, so more to come. Stay tuned. I believe actually over on Speed Gaming, uh, we have a matchup of Zarnax versus Goper. So as soon as we're done over here, uh, we should all head over there. Fred, I think he's going for some fairy drops, maybe. Does have the red ring, but it might be nice to have a little extra health. Oh, dodging some beams. And we yeah, can but he does here. make it. Fred Coughlin is our victor. Fred Coughlin is finished in first place with an hour with a time of two hours, fifteen minutes, and twenty-nine seconds. Good game to the creator. And Dig Shake uh, you know, graciously uh, forfeiting. Yep, he, he spent two hours and fifteen minutes digging this seed out and still no bow so can't blame them it's been a great great race tonight though great right not uh, great races the previous weeks um like i said this has been the third matchup uh best two out of three dig shake won the first one but fred came in and swept the uh the, the final two here it's been a, an awesome awesome race to watch And hopefully we will be getting uh, these gentlemen in here for an interview. And um, I believe there is another matchup tomorrow night. Uh, Antlers versus... Who's Antlers fighting or racing? Oh, that is on Friday. Uh, so tomorrow night, um, we have Captain Green 7 versus Random Effect at 11 o'clock. Um, on Friday, April 19th, Amplers versus Fury SK at 9 o'clock. Um, also tomorrow night, uh, at 10 o'clock, Chess Jerk versus Crystal Saver, the one and only. Um, and Yunos versus Thurwolf, also Friday, uh, at 11.30. Um, so plenty of Zan uh, Zelda 1 Rando coming up uh, tomorrow and Friday, uh, as well as, uh, yeah, Jay Coper versus Zarnax over on Speed Gaming uh, right now, uh, just about 24 minutes in. So as soon as we get our uh, victors and our, uh, our racers in here, uh, we will be uh, uh, enjoying another race here. But we are joined by uh, at least one racer in chat here. How are you doing? Uh, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Oh, well, it's not your fault. Yes, it was. It's all good to me. Oh, I don't pay any attention to people who roll stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, in the end, it's your boss, so it's always your fault. Exactly, and you know, someone here wrote the whole thing in the first place, so... We'll, 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 we'll work on blaming myself somehow. Ugh. GG, take, Fred. take us through that seed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done there, Dig. Yes. Uh, that was an evil, evil seed. Uh, at least I finally found the red candle there an hour something in or whatever it was. I was kind of scared because I was playing Dig Shake. Dig Shake is the person who takes the Triforces and runs and hopes that everything falls, you know, neatly into place. And, you know, a decent amount of the time it does. So I was actually trying to use his strats against him. For yeah. a good portion of that. This seed was not set up for those strats. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I mean, the only saving grace was an early recorder. That was oh, really you got the that only too. I was wondering. Yeah, I got over there, got in, said, looked around a little bit, found that recorder, and said, okay, this applies to the normal strats. Of course, that was the one one of the dungeons I couldn't get the Triforce in because it was ladder blocked. Uh, so um, couldn't record her directly there, but at least was able to record her one screen east, trying to get my directions correct with the mirrored overworld. But yeah, that was nasty, you know, early going. Eventually, 
was able to, you know, just, I think, ran out of stair options because I found almost all the stair items uh, through various retries and attempts and uh, and stuff, and apparently a large number of deaths, as I just discovered by pressing start on my screen. But um, then just eventually, eventually I uh, realized I was, you know, trying to find where level 8 was and said, so let me at least check the raft spot because I had forgotten about that one for a little while. And then screen scrolled over there, and oh, that was level eight. And then wandered through there a bit, and eventually found Red Candle, which I was really happy with, and then found the ladder, and immediately up eight out of there, even though I had the compass already, because I wanted to have that wand to try to get through the rest of the thing. And then we blitzed all the other dungeons, got all the Triforces, didn't have bow, didn't have silver, said, let me check out nine. And a complete full clear of that map later on, discovered a red ring, and after going to buy more bombs, a boomerang in there. Hmm. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty great race to watch. You guys were neck and neck pretty much the whole way through. Uh, Dig Shake grabbed the the ladder and the well the raft, and then the ladder first. Grabbed the wand first, but Fred was the first to eight triforce and the first into level nine. But uh, I just want to. Uh, congratulate both of you. It was a great race. We're not done with you, Dig Shake. Um, but I am uh, hopping over to Speed Gaming. I'm on double duty. And uh, I hope to see you guys over there in just a little bit. I will leave you with Jiggly Saint. It's up to you to close this up, buddy. Uh, oh, see you guys dear. later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. No well, thanks so much. See ya. Yep. So. Yeah. So, that's pretty much the best possible reaction I think for this entire seat. So yeah. Well, I was just looking at that uh, one room in level nine and going, "Oh, please let the item not be there." Oh, you mean that top right corner, which was the last staircase that I hadn't checked? Yeah. With the eight was ropes. As yeah. opposed to the three, yeah. Yeah. So at least a little bit of mercy there. Yeah, I, I decided there. I was like, okay, I think it's the three. It could be the three or that other one. one and I think the other one was going to take me back to the stair and the vertical shoot room. So I just said, let's start with the three. Fortunately, it was close enough to start where I could up a retry if it failed. But yeah. man, whoever convinced me to put allow one heart as a viable starting number needs to, uh, to put it politely, have a talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe one heart is just a little bit too little. Yeah, well... At least until half hearts can be implemented. Yeah, well, they wanted the challenge, and therefore I have this very strong feeling that, uh, you know, again, I may be playing said person in the next round, so well, I, I may have to... Uh... I had a thought. What if, uh, what if uh, you know, warps were uh, sort of decoupled from the rooms they're found in? So you like you find a staircase room, you go down, you go you go out the other end, you go to a ran, you go to a room, and there's not necessarily a staircase in that room, and then you go back out the other way and you go into a completely different room. Uh, only problem with that is currently is that would require significant game engine rewrite. Basically, yeah. the the game I, I've considered something like that It'd be essentially kind of like the I don't think it's Hell Sanity or whatever for. Uh, link to the past entrance randomizer, but something to that effect where yeah. um, it's got the full decoupled thing. And the main issue is the way that the game works. If you enter a staircase, it goes through the list of staircases, uh, possible staircase rooms to find, uh, you know, basically which end has a matching uh, oh, yeah, friend on right. it. And if it doesn't hit any of them, the game crashes hard, hard crash right now. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I believe it uses part of the door data to determine where the uh, room is. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, because of that, you can't uh, – basically, your staircases have to correspond to legitimate yeah. rooms. Any staircase you go down has to be on there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But you, but there's no way to sort of, like, make it so that it, like, goes to – because if I remember correctly, those one-way one rooms actually contain a staircase, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for all intents and purposes, they you know they're marked as the other end of the staircase for you know the empty rooms you land in. You just yeah. don't have any stairs there. So it's certainly possible to put some one-way stairs, and I think someone else was suggesting that well, I mean, you know, like, earlier have today. All, have them all be like one-way stairs, but then I guess that would be kind of different because then you'd have to add extra stairs to the 
complicated. Yeah, so but it yeah. would work in shapes potentially because yeah. there you've got more um, rooms available potentially. So yeah, it might be something to throw in. Mm. Anyway, so let's see. What else should I be doing now besides thinking of evil things to do on air? Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it then. Yeah, well, as I said, and you know, again, thank you to all of you out there. Thank you to Dig Shake for the great series of races. Uh, you know, sorry that this was such a painful one. I wish I could have put you out of there a little sooner, so that way we could have just gotten uh, to bed a little earlier tonight. It wasn't four hours, so we're all happy. That's true. Yeah. I thought maybe it was going to be for a second there, but... Nah. Yeah, uh, until I found out later, I was getting very nervous about that. Even with the red candle, it was a... Uh, you know, I was definitely feeling a little antsy about some of that stuff, to put it bluntly. Uh, All right. But best of luck in the lower bracket dig. Maybe we'll get a chance to uh, continue our lovely series here in the grand finals at some point down the line. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, best of luck to you, sir. Yeah, you too, Fred. And everyone out there, make sure you give follows to our commentary team here, as well as uh, trackers and restream team here who have all been involved on this. You know, everyone's been doing a great job, especially throwing this one together uh, for tonight. So make sure you give everyone out there, um, you know, who's been involved with this some follows, some love, because, you know, the people on this tournament have been putting a ton of hard work in. So Yeah, I also want to thank my co-commentator, August 40th, as well, for sticking with me on this one. 